This is one of the most mysterious stories in the history of the World Cup. What happened to Brazilian striker Ronaldo Fenomeno and why the Canarinhos lost the final to France? Actually already on the bus that took them to the Stade de France. When Ronaldo returned to Brazil after this defeat, he was a wreck. The defeat against France, with the score 0-3, was such a shock to the nation that the Brazilian Congress launched an investigation. Edmundo, another Brazil World Cup attacker, had to appear for an audition with politicians. For over 25 years, journalists have been wondering the events of that day. What happened to Ronaldo? He lay there, punching the floor with his hands, and foam was leaking from his mouth. Was it a full body convulsion? Yes, all of it. Part one, before the match. He was under a lot of pressure. It is difficult for us ordinary people to imagine such enormous stress. In the season leading up to the World Cup, Ronaldo Fenomeno was a fundamental figure for Inter Milan. Ronaldo, or more precisely, Ronaldo Luis Nazario de Lima, scored 34 goals in his stunning debut season and almost became the top scorer. Whatever you call him, the legendary striker will go down in history as one of the greatest players who ever lived. In the season before the World Cup, he played nearly 50 matches for the Milan club. Additionally, matches with Canarinos and all matches during the World Cup. Six matches of 90 minutes and one semi-final with the Dutch national team when he was on the pitch for 120 minutes and in a series of 11s. He was 21 years old then and throughout the year, he was subjected to enormous pressure and his body was overworked. Before the final, he was treated for a knee injury and given painkillers. This mixture, the enormous pressure of expectations and physical exhaustion literally knocked him to the floor. It was Roberto Carlos who first noticed the young Brazilian's panic attack, and then later convulsions, that is involuntary violent muscle contractions, causing strong vibrations of the entire body, accompanied by loss of consciousness. He quickly ran out of the room and shouted that a doctor was needed. Before the Brazilian national team doctor found himself in the room where Ronaldo was lying on the floor and experiencing a personal tragedy, the biggest star of the Canarinhos national team was already helped by Edmundo and Cesar Sampaio because they pulled out his tongue to prevent him from choking. If they hadn't done this, Ronaldo would probably have died. The director of the hotel where the Brazilians were staying commented recalling that there had never been such an uproar there before. He mentioned that someone had yelled, he's dead, he's dead. Mario Zagallo, who was then the coach of the Brazilian national team, made his decision immediately. Ronaldo will start the match on the bench. We rely on Edmundo. Information about Ronaldo's absence was made public, which caused great surprise to journalists from all over the world. All of them were questioning themselves why. That evening was different in every aspect. Leonardo, then midfielder of the Brazilian national team said, before each match, our national team cheered. We were overjoyed as we drove to the stadium. The drums, tambourines, guitars, and singing were everywhere. Ronaldo was the main character of the party. But that evening, we drove in complete silence. No one thought about singing. Everyone was terrified. In my opinion, it was clear there that we would lose the World Cup final. Part 2. Why did Ronaldo appear on the field? First theory. According to Brazilian investigative journalists, the then president of the Brazilian Football Federation, Ricardo Teixeira, burst into the locker room and ordered the young player to play. He was infuriated because two years earlier, Nike had signed a record contract with the Brazilians for $150 million. Nike relied heavily on this collaboration, and the company itself may have hinted at star Canarinhos' inclusion in the starting lineup. According to journalists, Teixeira said directly, Ronaldo must play. The coach had no other choice. The player looked terrible during the match. He didn't look like that outstanding 21-year-old on whom the eyes of the whole world were focused. After the match ended with a score of 0-3, Ronaldo pointedly took off his shoes and hung them around his neck, exposing the Nike logo, as if to suggest to us some hidden meaning behind the whole matter. I leave further thoughts to you. Second theory. Brazil allegedly sold the match to the French for 15 million pounds. Ronaldo did not want to agree to this, 
so he rebelled not to play in this match. For him, imposing the results of matches from above was unacceptable. According to this theory, all the football players' health problems were nonsense. As far as we know, the July 12th seizure was the only one ever suffered by Ronaldo, and given a grooming process that took him to the 1994 World Cup as a 17-year-old, never mind the four years of top-flight European football he played in the run-up to the 1998 competition, the idea that he suddenly broke down under pressure is curious, to say the least. In addition to the money, the Brazilians were also supposed to get an easy group in the next World Cup, and the right to organize the tournament in the future. Interestingly, in 2002 in Korea and Japan, Brazil faced China, Turkey, and Costa Rica, an easy group, right? They also organized the World Cup in 2014. An interesting coincidence, what do you think? What version of events does Ronaldo tell? The footballer believes that the health problems were real, and he himself asked the coach not to play from the beginning of the match. Only 40 minutes before the whistle, he changed his mind and asked to play in the first team. What was true? We will probably never know, and it will forever remain one of football's greatest mysteries. Whatever happened ahead of the match, what followed was a sort of awakening to the intersection of football, money, and power. If you liked the video, remember to give it a thumbs up and subscribe so you don't miss the next videos about football secrets.